Welcome to day 9, 10, 11 and 12 of my eight week fat loss journey. Now, first of all, some people have been asking why have the daily uploads stopped? Well, the daily update videos have not stopped. You're gonna see those in a minute. But it turns out that uploading a very short video every single day that not a huge amount of people will actually watch does terrible things to my YouTube metric numbers. So these are gonna be put out now every few days instead. So simple update, first of all, on where I'm at. Coming up now to the end of week two, so still a few days away from even being at 25% through this, but starting to feel like I'm in a routine now. My relaxed intermittent fasting is working well, it's very comfortable, I wake up, have a coffee in the morning, it doesn't even occur to me to eat until about 11 a.m., and that's if I'm gonna work out early afternoon. If I'm not gonna be training until later in the day, I can easily go until noon, one, or even two o'clock before having that first meal, which then makes calorie control just much more straightforward, because I'm not having to spread those calories across an entire day of eating. Talking of working out, I can sometimes feel tired in the gym or riding the bike in here or out running as I'd expect given I'm in a calorie deficit. I can't ask my body to literally melt itself down for energy and feel as vibrant as normal. But my bottom line results are still okay. In the gym I feel as strong as normal, similar on the cardio. Actually a good example on the bike, I did a sprint Zwift race in here this week just as a means of getting warm to go into the sauna with an elevated body temperature but I found myself actually doing quite well. So towards the end, I thought I might actually try and win this race. I ended up coming second. I just not quite have the energy for a big sprint finish. So the calorie deficit is having an impact, but it's one that is not really significant. I'm also getting pretty good at knowing how I should be feeling at any given point in the day. So for example, on Wednesday night watching TV last thing, I felt quite drained. So I had a few hundred extra calories in clean snacks. Went to bed, felt good. Yesterday, felt good all day, despite a really heavy leg session. So during the evening, I jumped back on the bike in here, did an easy one hour ride, 800 extra calories gone, which got me back to feeling a bit less than really good, but not as bad as really drained. So by eating in a very similar way each day and training in a similar way, it's very easy to make sure that I feel consistent and adjust accordingly when I need to, as I did. And lastly, am I less fat? Yes, but it's an interesting place being this early in the process. I'm down to 99 kilos, so five off of my starting weight. And I'm noticing in the gym, especially when I'm pumped, I've got much more definition than a couple of weeks ago, and I feel slimmer. In fact, my weight's belt, I just had to adjust because it's getting a bit too loose. So that's all good, but equally, it's only been, well, it's not even two weeks, so I'm under no illusion that there is still some way to go. We are still weeks away from clearly visible abs, for example. And that pretty much sums it up right now. Let's do these four days of photos. And day 12. So all going to plan with no intention or need to change anything just yet. Next update will now be early next week when I will also be covering either a day of eating so you can see what I'm having, probably along with the training that goes into that day at the same time, or a list of the well-intentioned but really stupid comments that people make when they notice that you are losing weight. It depends how many times between now and then I have to hear someone tell me stuff like, oh, you don't wanna lose too much weight, do you? Or, oh, you've lost weight. Are you unwell? Or my recent favorite, plant-based and a calorie deficit, but you can still have a bit of normal cake, can't you? Who oh, no. Your dad ate some, he's fine. 